Okay, next what I'm going to do is show you how to divide using the pictorial model. Okay, we're going to start off first by just dividing, um, you know, by tens. So we're going to have our 39 divided by 2. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to do our tens and our ones. I have three tens. In our tens, we use just lines like this. Okay. We have nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we tell the kids to group these in twos. That way it's just easier. They're not all over the place so that you can um, easily count them. Okay, so we have two groups. So we're going to circle each two. So we'll circle two tens. Okay, and I have one left over that we'll need to regroup. But right now we have one group of two tens. So our one will go right above our tens place. Okay, so we have a 10 left over, so we're going to need to regroup it over here. 10 tens equal 10 ones, so I'm going to add 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, next what I'm going to do is group them in groups of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I have one left over. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups. So I'm going to put my nine over my ones place. And then I have a remainder of one. Okay, then they also have to check it. So we take our, our answer, 19 times 2. 9 times 2 is 18. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3, and then we have to add our remainder. 8 plus 1 is 9, 3 plus nothing is 3. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you how to multiply doing the two digit, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, into the hundreds. Okay, so let's take um, 512 divided by 3. Okay, now I have hundreds, so I'm going to have hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, I have five hundreds. We do hundreds with boxes, with, I'm sorry, not boxes, with um, squares. squares, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, I have one ten, and I have two ones, okay, next I'm going to group them in threes, one, two, three, okay, and then I have two left over, I can't make another group, so I have one group, In the hundreds, so I'm going to put it over my hundreds place. Okay, so these two, we have two hundreds that we're going to need to regroup into the tens. Ten tens equal one hundred, so I'm going to need to put really twenty tens, but let's go one at a time. So our one hundred, so we'll have ten tens. One, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to erase this. Because I'm going to group them in groups of two. So I have this. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's one of my hundreds. And I need to go ten more for my other hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next I'm going to group them in groups of three. One, two, three. There's one group, one, two, three. There's my other group, one, two, three. Another group, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so let's see how many groups I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven groups. Okay. And I don't have any that need to come over and regroup to the, the ones place. So I don't have any 
a way that I can make a group of three here. So this will be my remainders. Okay, so if I have zero, um, I can't make any groups, so I have zero groups that I can make. And then I'll have remainder two. And again, we need to check it. So we take our answer, 170 times three. Three times zero is zero. Seven times three is 21. Three times one is three, plus two more is five. And then I need to add my remainder, plus two. Okay, I hope that helps.